This is Skull Teeth Reproduction. I'm going to show you how I duplicated these teeth. First I got a skull. This is a dire wolf skull. I like this skull. It has some cool looking teeth. So now I need to mold the teeth. I use putty matrix material. This is a dental putty. You take some putty and add the hardener and just knead it until it's one solid color. This putty is okay, but you know there's better putties out there. After kneading, I'm pressing onto the teeth and avoid trapping any air. Now this skull is made out of some type of urethane. I'm not quite sure what it's made out of, but to avoid any type of breaking of the teeth, this is why I'm doing a putty matrix on the teeth. I'm only molding the molars and the canine teeth. The front teeth I'm not copying because they're too worn down. I'm going to replace them. I'll wait about 10 or 15 minutes for the putty matrix material to cure. And I just simply remove them and I place them into these clay holders. This will allow me to keep it level while I'm doing this uh, salt and pepper technique with dental acrylic. Now this is a quick cure dental acrylic. This is tooth acrylic, number uh, shade 62. Salt and pepper technique is usually you just fill the mole up uh, halfway with a monomer and then sprinkle in some dental acrylic. I place them in the pressure pot for about 10 minutes. Pressure about 20 pounds or a little less. You really have to do these basically one at a time because, uh, you know, dental acrylic will set up within about five minutes. Once again this lab putty it's okay but it's usually like one shot one pour and that's it. And here's the castings of the teeth. Now we're going to fast forward a little bit. Now I've blocked out the teeth with uh, water clay and I'm going to make an impression tray using dental stone. A lot of this is, I'm trying to avoid breaking any teeth on the skull. The skull was quite expensive. So I'm going a long way of doing this procedure. These impression trays, which is made out of dental stone, I just remove them and then I clean up the, the skull removing the water clay. I need the jaw and the skull teeth to float so I can get a really good impression. This is a must. The ends of the impression trays are blocked out with water clay. Now it's time to mix up alginate. This alginate comes from Smooth On. simply pour up the cavity with alginate and then I place the the lower jawbone inside the tray and repeat the process with the upper skull. I allow the alginate to cure for about 10-15 minutes and I demold. I mix up some dental stone and I uh, fill the impression. If you notice here I'm actually vibrating the table. Building up the base of the of the teeth. I'll adjust this later. Now I remove them from the alginate and trying not to break any teeth. Now I have an upper and lower stone copy. Adding new bases to the teeth models. Now I need this flat so I can articulate and then I'll need to clean up before that.
as you notice here, the teeth have bubbles in the front. I mean, they were pretty damaged on the skull itself. Uh, and like I said earlier, I was going to replace these teeth anyway. I key each model for articulation. I mix up some plaster with salt. This will accelerate the plaster. This is a fairly large articulator, but you can see how large these teeth are. Now we are articulated. Now it's time to clean up the acrylic teeth I made earlier. And I know I've said this before, but a dental lathe is a wonderful tool. I go close as I can by grinding away the gingiva area of the teeth that was casted. Now it's time to pumice, and this pumice is really emery board powder. I'm doing a light polish on the teeth. This will remove any defects, scratches, or whatever. This really don't take a long time to do. It's just so many teeth. And after I polish, now it's time to high shine. Now I switch rag wheels. You'll see this later. I place a little water on the rag wheel just to keep it from burning. Then I add rouge or polishing compound. This whole procedure of doing a reproduction is basically what we do at a dental lab called immediate denture. We remove the patient's stone teeth from their model and replace it with plastic teeth. So the patient's teeth will fit correctly, having their correct bite matching from what they used to have. Here I'm drawing a line. This is my cut line. This is where I just need to grind away. After removing the stone teeth, now I can see if I can match up with the existing stone teeth on the lower, making the correct bite work. Using a butane torch, I heat up some base plate wax, and I simply just press it onto the area that I just ground off the teeth. Now I add the acrylic teeth. Then after I add the acrylic teeth and position it right, I close the articulator to match the bite. At this point here, I'm only setting teeth. Waxing will come later. Now I'm gonna remove the front lower stone teeth. To continue this video, go to part two. Thanks.